we've all just kind of glossed over and basically just shot put Trevor Lawrence into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> and it, I mean, we really have. Like, That's we don't true. even debate anything about Trevor Lawrence. And I, I wonder. He was so good in college, though. You I know. know, what I, mean? like, I, know I know. I know. So, and from a from a freshman. Right from the very beginning, he I know. Was so good, I, I get it. That's why we just assume that he's going to take those next steps. But obviously, you know this, BT. So much depends on where you go. Like, what's the infrastructure around you? What's the coaching staff like? So, I hear you. But he's got all the tools clearly, and that's why he's getting lauded so much, even though he hasn't taken a snap in the NFL yet. Do we expect him? Because you know, as as great as he is, and as highly as he's ranked, and as much as we all think he's going to be, you know, a superstar. Although, to be fair, I, I could be a tick less convinced than the majority of people. I, you know, I like to see it at this level before I just stamp you for, for Canton. I, you know, I, I've seen too many quarterbacks fail, yeah. as we all have. I mean, do we expect him right away uh, to come out and, and, and look like Joe Burrow before he got hurt, to look like Justin Herbert, you know, for the charge? Is he going to look like that right away? I mean, and if he doesn't, yeah. what's the level of criticism? How do we process that? Yeah, I, you know, I, I think he will adapt pretty quickly to the NFL BT. And I, don't, I have no like reason to say that other than the fact that he was consistently in high pressure games. Cause all three years he was in the college football playoff and now I didn't win all of them, obviously, but he was always there. And, um, you know, he, he, he could seemingly perform when needed at, to the highest level. I think last year, just, you know, looking at that Clemson team, they, they just weren't as good as previous Clemson teams, especially in the wide receiver ranks. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, they, he, you know, he, he had great, a great season uh, despite missing a couple of games with, uh, with, in, with, a, with an injury. And so I feel like, um, I feel like Trevor Lawrence gives us the best chance to have a, I don't know, a hero quarterback in this draft, uh, even though we don't know what some of these other guys are going to end up doing. You know, for instance, like Josh Allen, I was so down on him when he was coming um, into the draft. I, mm-hmm. I had no faith that he would ever figure out how to throw an on-target pass. Yet here we are, three years in, and the dude looks like an MVP candidate. He's better than all of them, no doubt about. Better it. than every kid that he was drafted with. That not year. even, not even close, really. Nope. Uh, because he's got all the tools and can be a pocket passer, and we know he can run because he did that for two years trying to figure it out. Yeah. And, right. And now, True. You, and now you look at what he means to the Bills. I mean, dude, they're they're gonna win the division for the next couple of years. It seems hey, like, especially not, if they stay healthy. Not when my boys got a little something to say about us. Hey, here come the Jets. You know, <laughs> what what is it like for? I can't imagine there. Well, you know, I, I shouldn't say that. Maybe I should ask the question rather than to frame it as a statement. How many, if you had to take a guess, like what percentage of of top five, uh, top ten NFL picks were quarterbacks enter the league married? And and I wonder what that does. Good question. Like Trevor Lawrence is what that does to stability, just a a seamless transition, fewer yeah. distractions, more stable base at home. That's a good question. That can't be a bad thing for the no, Jaguars. No, I don't think it is at all. <laughs> it's got to be a good you, thing. You're not go, like you have one job. It's not you know both personally and professionally, and that is to get get great. And you know you're in a smaller market, and which is obviously good and bad good because the pressure is not as high right mm-hmm. um it's bad because everybody knows everything that you do no i do think the pressure even though it's in jacksonville the pressure is uh, going to be through the roof I, between urban meyer and trevor lawrence no, all eyes are on jacksonville yeah all eyes but i don't think the expectation is that they're going to go you know win the, the the south the afc south in year one or maybe even in, even in year two and so the pressure is different it's not like stepping into a team that is ready to win and you if, i see what you're saying if you underperform him, forget it. I got you. But, but the bigger point is that everybody's watching him. Yeah. Did you, you saw the story earlier this week because he got married, as you were alluding to, and pe- people found his registry and started buying him oh, like gifts. Crazy. I know. Right? Someone bought him, I forget what it was, like a $300 something or other. Half uh, the stuff we don't even use, we yeah, still have it too. Yeah, of course. I mean, the only Bust it out once a year. I don't think we unpack some of the stuff. I mean, should have brought it back. It is. It is. It, we should have. Got it, some loot. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, but that, but the, but the, the, like the, like they're embracing him already. He hasn't even oh, drafted yeah. yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like he's ours. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some pressure to go along with that, but also some. Um, you got to mind your p's and q's big time. 
Uh, question for you, and again, I, I know you're not concerned. Neither of us are concerned that he does anything off the beaten path in terms of just yeah. being a, a you know fully well, dude, he was a regimented superstar. young man. He, look, he was a superstar in college. Yeah, now he's used to this stuff. What did we and, hear? We heard nothing about anything that he did off the. Off I, I don't even know if he drinks. I know he's a, he's a young man of deep faith. I don't yeah. even know if he if he drinks at all. So like when you take away those elements, I mean, mm-hmm. there's just fewer possibilities to yeah. uh, let alone you know dr- drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah missteps and just doing the wrong thing you know young yeah. kids often do you know what they say out past midnight nothing good nothing happens. happen well to me it's always two like to me some good things no seriously to me my always expression was two to me plenty of good things happen before two it's but all, after it's two all it's when... well, i guess it depends on what market you're in <laughs> well i grew up in new york so what do you think market i'm in that's what i mean so in new york things close at two <laughs> in other places yeah. things close at midnight that's you know right what I mean? so yeah, if you're right. out past midnight then nothing good has happened i'm sure it was a little different when i worked in allentown pennsylvania i'm sure no i moved doubt. it up from uh, two to twelve <laughs> I, I would i would think that i was smart enough to make uh, yeah probably smart enough to make that adjustment but let me ask you this as much as lawrence is the consensus number one overall pick right mm-hmm. why wouldn't it outside of maybe negative PR and maybe sending the wrong message, but that goes away after yeah. as long as you get the pick right. Why wouldn't the Jaguars just have a workout? Like bring in fly Zach Wilson in. Yeah. Fly Justin Fields in. Well why wouldn't you do that? I, I think I think part of it is is geographic. Um I don't think that every team does this, but if it if it falls in your lap this way, mm. it just makes sense to to do it. Yep. Because of where he went to school, you mean? Yeah. Tickets, et cetera? Yep. yep. So you're a, you, he's an ACC guy, but yep. he's, in the, he's in the south of the ACC, or towards the south. He's not deep south like Florida State is, but he's in the south of the ACC in South, in south Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, the, you know that the fan base um, in Jacksonville has seen him play, knows who he is. Uh, they'll, they'll, it'll resonate with him because of, of where he grew up and where he went to school. Yep. And it's just an economic boon to have a kid – who was a superstar and has been a superstar for three years. So there's no, like, who is this kid? Who we got to, who do we got to, what do we got to learn about this guy? So if they drafted Trey Lance, half of the, half of the Jacksonville community would be like, the sports community would be like, what's this? Who's he? Where, who is he? Huh? Where's he from? Mm -hmm. What what did he do in college? And the incentive to reach into their pockets for 12,000 extra season tickets. It's it's not there or, or, or merchandise or Or merchandise or or anything else. It's kind of like, all right, we'll, we'll just wait and see. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait a year or two before I buy that kid's Jersey. People are buying Trevor Lawrence jerseys right now. I no guarantee. question. I but, 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 but isn't that, I, I get you economically makes a ton of sense, but mm-hmm. that's almost, if, if now, if he's the right guy, and again, by most accounts, if not every account, he will be the right guy. But yeah. it, that's if he's not the right guy, that's still a, like a short term fix. Okay, yeah, we right. got a surplus. Look at the, the infusion. Well, we got 13 extra thousand season ticket, uh, you know, to, to our base this year. Wow. Look at all the jerseys flying off the shelf. But if he's not the guy, that dissipates quickly. Okay. So. Even if you were to draft somebody else and not get the immediate pop, and you're not going to because of the regional disparity, I, I get that. But as long as you get the right player, yeah. what really matters is you'll make all that down the road with the jerseys and the season tickets yeah. and divisional titles and hopefully conference championship games and Super Bowls. Yeah, no, I so think, I still would work these guys. I don't know. I, look, I look, don't know. May, maybe they are. Maybe they, you know, they have scouts out there looking at these guys. But, we would have heard it by now. And here's uh, the other thing. Even well, if, I mean, the scouts are everywhere. So, I mean, we don't – they're just not talking about it. But the reality is because Urban Meyer – But this Meyer, year they weren't everywhere because of the pandemic. Um, but I think they went to their workout. Outs, right, even the 49ers who said they weren't going. To I don't think the field. Jaguars went to Zach Wilson's workout at BYU. Uh, I don't think they I did. Don't, I don't know. I know I, Urban I Meyer didn't go. Of course he did, because Urban right. Meyer, when asked about it two weeks ago, said, "Yeah, we're going with Lawrence. <laughs> 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 he knows he knows who he's drafted, and you know why doubt it? Focus on the other things that are important to rebuilding this franchise, as opposed to." You know, getting into some internal debate that's often yeah. gonna, that's, that's most likely going to lead back to the same conclusion. Again, and, and I'm not trying to debate myself here, and I'm, I'm largely with you, but I'm just thinking, you know, if I've got you know this golden ticket, right? I may as well present as many you know possible paths for me to succeed. And one of the possible paths that I think the Jaguars have ignored is at least floating a modicum of possibility 
that they could draft somebody else, which could incentivize somebody to call up and trade with them. Mm. Like, to me, if I'm running the Jaguars, and I know they're taking Lawrence, and I'm sure he'll be good, but, like, to me, everything's on the table. They might offer me five first-round picks. (laughs) I don't know. Or four first-rounders, and whatever they're going to do for Deshaun Watson, maybe they do for me. True, but then you don't have your franchise quarterback. Unless you pick somebody who's better or comparable. 